Hello and welcome back everyone, I am Manic Mink. This is European Universalis 4 when we last left off, um... I don't quite know what we were doing. Uh, we just released the Ukraine, we were... still... waiting... for some of these guys to get higher ups so that we can annex them. Um... Probably we were gonna go to war with Austria at some point, looks like we were recovering our manpower. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward at this point. Uh, building up another army, by the looks of it as well. Missions. Trukai. Rochelle. I don't really know what would even be the part... Pu the pure, 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 pure. What would even be the point of that, honestly. Um... Lesson. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're just sitting and waiting at this point. Um, new decisions. That's the Pope react. Uh, reduce Catholic influence, offering money to anyone willing to witness against a Catholic. Uh, missionary strength. Yes, I'll take extra missionary strength. That seems good to me. These are now down to somewhat reasonable numbers, though Brest being orthodox is weird. Is Lithuania orthodox? No. It's just a random orthodox province there? Okay. Seems plausible, right? Vassals. Anybody who's even close enough? No, probably not. Uh, let's send you to the next place. Um, so let's go to three, four, five. Flesh out those cannons, and then two more cavalry. There we go. Uh, let's check out our naval limits are full. Uh, build those, may as well, right? money at this point, building stuff. Gain prestige. And we'll group all you up into a new set of armies. Where are you? You and you. Group up there. Go home at war. Protect trade in... Novgorod. Uh, how is our maintenance? Just before I throw troops in to kill them, there we go. Like 20 something. Yeah, I'd kind of like to keep it there at least. 12 combat width, that's kind of what we need to keep. Uh, so you are three years ahead of time, so I think it's probably best if we wait and try to build up our next tech level. Um, 14 is the next admin tech, which will be good. Reputation, aggressive expansion, impact, that'll probably be one that I take. Oh, okay, um... Young female troubadour was one fame across Europe for unconventional music. It's ready to perform at your court. The sight of her costume prompted the entire room to gasp. 
Our songs say countless instances of thinly disguised innuendo and references to unconventional sex acts. Uh, at one point, the Archbishop turned scarlet and stormed out of the room. Otherwise, he a theologian or gained 20 administrative power. I, I wonder... <laughs> Uh, we have 1500's Lady Gaga here. Uh, just, it's just wonderful. Oh, goodness. Um... Theologian, superintendents have a theologian. Here, let's go land maintenance guy instead. Some kind of alarm outside, that's good. How is religion doing at the moment? Uh, so these... Only a handful of provinces left that aren't currently uh, Protestant, which is good for us. Ukraine now is pretty well... Well, they like us a lot now. The problem is we want to actually let them continue to, uh... So let's see, who's in the coalition against us? Almost everyone. Okay. Guess we'll just wait then. Cologne, you're in a coalition against me. Platinet, you're in a coalition. So literally all of my neighbors are in a coalition against me. I suppose I deserve that, but it's okay. Uh, how's the Emperor? We have two votes, they have three. Really should go to war with them at some point here. Maybe if they leave the coalition? That'd be nice. Um, uh, call diplomats. Improve relations with France again, just to make sure. We like keeping France happy. We like keeping, uh... Our friends over here in Russia... ...happy as well. Finish keeping Spain happy, and that's good. Uh, so let's look at military. We have 16. Well, not really, but. Uh, Another car alarm going on outside. Good to know that. Uh, Cars are being stolen while we sit and play Europa. Move you up. Move you up. You up. Move you up. Ideally, I'd love to have like 12 artillery and. 18 infantry, but I uh, suspect that's probably a bit ambitious for even our force limits. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I suppose that could actually work. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now we will actually be at our force limits. 100,000 is our maximum manpower. Uh, so we can get up to 100,000, which I s would like to do, but of course that's easier said than done sometimes. Uh, mostly, mostly easier said than done, actually, just because we only really regain 900 a month. So unless we get really lucky with some events, I think it might take a while. Good thing is, though, is that uh, in a few months we can get level 13 tech in both military and admin. <laughs> I'll take the disorder. Review up, review up, review up, and review up, and then we will drop our army maintenance a bit. Ukraine, I really like mains to be up to uh, 100 and, or 200. They will lose that Holy Roman Empire thing. Uh, they will lose Annex the Vassal. maintenance back up again. Don't have a claim on any of those. Actually, start to integrate uh, mains now. In a moment. There we go. Vessels. Let's see. Mainz, Oldenburg. Still gonna take a while for. Well, maybe I should wait and then try and annex Oldenburg. Try and just do both of these at once. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll go for both of these at once, uh, just because that will actually make it a bit easier for us in the long term. That will wipe out another elector, and then we can Sweden, France, Liège, Utrecht. Uh, can actually fabricate a claim then on Utrecht. Bremen, Cologne, and Trier, that will bring in Bremen, then we can actually eat Bremen. We'll probably just vassalize them, uh, judging by base tax, 6 and 10. Yeah, that's going to be stupidly a lot to uh, core. Were I to core it. Oh, wouldn't want to do that. Vassals, you are almost there. Holstein. Um, you know what we can do? Send a gift. And 
and start to annex both of you in a little bit. It's worth it giving him the money to get it over with, just because... You know. It's a bit easier, I suppose, in the long run. Lithuania left military coalition against us. Austria and Spain you're still allied with, so we need to pull them in without pulling in Spain. An emperor, I don't really want to. Though gaining a stability for becoming emperor would not be a bad idea. But it's, you know, you actually have to win it, which means... Uh, probably fabricate a claim on Utrecht. Probably vassalize... well, what's Utrecht's base tax? Hold on. Utrecht. Base tax of 7. Cologne. Base tax of 5, but I could take a province off of Trier for them. Ooh, no, I'll lose the money. I don't like losing that uh, stability. Much prefer stability. Yeah, that's all fine, I think. I'll only move my trade capital to here. Oh, my trade port's already located in this node. Okay, never mind. We doing right, force limits. Power, sure, that's fine. There we go. Just build those to keep uh, keep my income going, coming in, I suppose. And you guys are still annexing. Good. Poland left the military coalition. Sweden, Croatia, and Bavaria. Bavaria, Bavaria is still in it. Sweden. Uh, Sweden is not in it currently. Call diplomat from the Ukraine. Karl Arm yet again. What is going on? Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that. Production efficiency, tolerance of heretics, extra discipline, and we can force march. Also, we can take policies. Uh, there's one military power area every month. How much do I get? Nine. Okay, yeah, I'll go down to eight for a while. Well, I can at least almost convert everyone, which is nice. I can force march. Two military power per province moved. Fair enough. No, I'd prefer just integrate these guys and then figure out who I go to war with next. and Bavaria. Ah, uh, no, General's dead. He's one of my really good ones, too, huh? Put you in charge there. should happen at some point here. Administrative monarchy. 
Well, uh, though this has been kind of a very slow episode, uh, we will... Kovno, which is, I think, here, yeah. Uh, so this has been a very slow episode, but a productive one, I suppose, nonetheless. Well, Livonian Order actually lost their cores. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, we will pick this up next time. I'm Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. We'll see you later. Take care.